Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. What time is it? To go to the truck show. To go check out the truck show, the actual show, what we came here for, right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it just stopped raining here for a little while and as you can see there's a bunch of trucks all over here Trying not to turn the camera too much or too fast to make you guys dizzy, but uh, Yeah, we got all kinds of trucks up here and uh, we're gonna go over there to the uh, uh, Shuttle bus station and then we'll get on the bus and we'll go over to the actual expo, right? Yeah Yeah, look at that. The parking lot has gotten quite a bit fuller, eh? There's still trucks coming so that's fantastic. So uh, we'll try and get on the shuttle bus and get over there before uh, before it starts raining again, so uh, we don't get our equipment wet, right? That's the plan. So we'll see you guys all over there. Alrighty, guys, here we are. Look at this beautiful truck that they got down here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the truck show, and we are here with hey Lane. Lane. All right. Uh, and uh, my son, and this is our first time being here at the yeah, truck show. Absolutely. And uh, you want to tell our viewers on uh, what you do and absolutely. what your specialties are? I, pleasure to meet you. You've got an awesome guy you're following and subscribing to here, just passionate about trucking and showing the inside daily world of a trucker. Uh, Truckersolution.com is our business, and we do fuel savings and tire savings. You can sign up for free, free membership site at truckersolutions.com. Uh, you can Google it, find it, check us out on Facebook, check us out on Twitter, etc. But uh, what's great about our program, it's a free membership, instant savings at the pump, average of savings 16 cents per gallon immediately at the pump. So if you're looking a way to put more money in your pocket, get instant savings instead of that rebate check, check us out at truckersolutions.com. Fantastic, man. So you actually do have uh, fleet parts or? Well, it's great is we already work with ComData, uh, Fleet Core, and others. Yeah. So if you already have a fuel savings card, Literally, you can use that card. No need to get a new one. Okay. And like, are you working with uh, uh, NS? What is that called? NS CTS or uh, one of the partners? But yeah. When it comes to where you can stop with the fuel savings locations, any pi pilot flying J, any loves, okay. uh, and a couple others, you can go to the website, see our entire Check partnership basis. Up. Nice. Absolutely. Well, that was nice meeting with you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, we'll uh, check out more Enjoy stuff Matt's. right here. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at this jet truck. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, look at that big injector that they got in the back here, that big engine, whatever you want to call it. That is huge. Look at that. Look at them afterburners. Wow. All right, if you guys want to see a cool truck, let's take a look. Man, that is a super nice truck. Look at how low it is off from the off the ground, man. Nice chrome on there. Don't you think so, son? Very, very nice, eh? Yeah, I know they got some music on there, but we're gonna try and over talk on it. I'm sure it's gonna be very, very nice. Yep, look at that. That's nicely chromed. And, wow, even the fifth wheel is painted. Very nice, very nice. Anyways, we'll get out of here. Let's have a look. My son is over here at the Porsche. Hey, what kind of Porsche is it? You don't know? A 911. Probably a 911? Yeah. Wow, that's a nice race car, eh? It's an actual, actual race car, it looks like. Wow, look at that big spoiler in the back, eh? Wow, that's nice, eh? They, you can tell they adjusted the height on it. The what? They they you get they adjusted the height on it and then they gave it oh, some yeah. more curves to give it yeah. make it more aerodynamic. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course they're gonna do that. This is probably now carbon fiber, but lightweight stuff or whatever. That just looks like glued on stuff, paper. Uh, yeah, because because that? that's lightweight stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. carbon fiber or something. Yeah, very yeah. nice. All right, we'll get some uh, more things checked out. Mr. Alex. Yes, sir. Trucker right. Rudy. Like, where's the airplane that was attached to? <laughs> <laughs> you lost your, your drone. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a drone, unfortunately, but uh, how you been doing? Okay. Yeah? You still ice roading, trucking? Yes, sir. We made season 10. Yeah? Oh, these looking... guys here, truck claws brought me here, so I got to warm up. 
Yes. Yeah. yeah, I was looking for you earlier and you wasn't here, so. Went, we went for lunch. Ah, oh, lunch, eh? Who's this guy? That's your my son. Your secretary? <laughs> yeah, your, your my name? secretary. Diego. 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 Yes. Pleased to meet you, sir. Is that your wife? It was my agent. Your agent? Yeah. Okay. Am, yeah. yeah. I make YouTube videos. So oh, if you yes. guys ever want to check me out. I know it's a little small written, but... Uh, it's okay, my eyes are small. <laughs> <laughs> I always meant to ask you, what language is your original language? Is that well, actually English? Well, my, well I, yeah, I'm born in Canada, but okay. my, my parents are Polish. Oh, nice. Okay. See, we, we grew up in South America ourselves, and I'm where, actually where, uh, German. And where in South America? I was born in Bolivia, and uh, grew up in Paraguay, and now I live in the southeast of Winnipeg myself. No kidding. Yeah, I live in Steinbach, there? Manitoba. Okay. So I, yeah, so I go by Winnipeg by your travel. Are you a, are you a Mennonite? Yes. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, the Mennonites are in Mexico. When they're uh, yeah, I guess we are originally from Russia. I guess that's where the Mennonites originally come from. But yeah, but but I, it, tur yeah, it turns out that we got I got quite we got quite a bit of family in South America. Yeah. We just said, like we uh, really somebody Devogorsky started the Devogorsky clan on the internet just uh, Facebook yeah. just in the last month I think. Oh wow! But I know that one one lady got a hold of us from. Uh, I know we got family Dubogorskis in Brazil. We got them in Argentina. Oh wow! And then we had somebody call us from there and said, "We're Jewish. Are you Jewish?" <laughs> I said, "We're oh, a little wow. bit for sure. I don't know how much though." <laughs> yeah, I watch quite a few of your seasons there, and and uh, how's your heart and all that doing these days? That was good this morning. That was good. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> well, you know how it is, you know. Yeah, yeah. But the yeah. doctor said I had way too much fun when I was younger. <laughs> Isn't that the truth, eh? Yeah, that's Listen probably. to what he says, eh? Yeah, it's just like <laughs> when you get older, you say, like, I'm on my fourth cat. You know, if every cat got nine lives, I got yeah. about uh, four cats are gone. I'm starting to make, yeah, uh, end yeah. it on the fifth cat pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. How many more years do you plan on trucking? Well, I don't. I only truck in the winter time, but I yeah. got. I make topsoil. My my business revolves around making topsoil in Yellowknife. Okay. You know, I oh, okay, take yeah, because yeah. I live in the Precambrian Shield, way back yeah. in the bush. It's rock, swamp, and water. So I got to yeah. take organics from permafrost, mix it with sand and silt, and put it through Lindic soil filters, screen it, mm -hmm. and we bring it to you for garden or for lawn and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. And then like this year, I started. I went. I was gold mining. I was gold mining in 1976. I was just a little bit older than him. Yeah. And of course, I had no money. I had a good claim, and then I left. And the guy that dug the claim up, he retired. I went to only 40 years, planned to coming back. So finally, this this area here, eh? okay. in, in the Caribou. Okay. So where, did I give you some of these? No, you haven't. I'll give you some of these here. Oh, that'd be yeah. awesome. And uh, this this is this one. Don't don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't don't cut yourself. That's a. That's from the city of Yellowknife, they got a little knife, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. For, just for show, eh? Nice, and nice. Here, we gotta give you two bookmarks. We one bookmark for Diego for when he's reading, when he's reading the Bible and everything else. <laughs> yes, be memorizing. Yeah. yes, that's very nice. <laughs> so who who did you drive for this last year? I was for Polar again. Oh, you work for Polar again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see them there on the, just on the perimeter there all yeah. the time, yeah. Uh, sometimes I mention it on my videos. <laughs> I go by the Ice Road Trucker Show, guys, you know? Yeah, Ontario and Manitoba. Yeah. Lots of communities. There's communities never got no road, got no fuel. Yeah, they this last year was terrible, yeah. wasn't it? Some communities got two loads of fuel, but now they're going to have to fly fuel. So wow. Probably gonna have to be some That's going to be something. expensive for them. You well, know, for those native communities, they got tough times it is. Like, they don't need well, to be yeah. paying for airplanes to bring lumber yeah, and fuel. Yeah, no like. kidding. Yeah. Well, I would love to get a picture of you if I would need sure, you yeah. to get it. Yep, yeah, no problem. All right. It's actually signing our son's T-shirt. Pretty good. Yeah. Do you want to check us out? Sure. YouTube videos. That's very nice. Look at that. <laughs> what do you say? Thank you. Thank you. There you go. It's a good deal at twice the price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice meeting hey, with you, God Alex. Bless you guys. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming by. All right. We'll see you next time. Good. I'm a YouTuber as well. Yeah. You probably know me. Maybe. 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 Yes. Hey, Matt. How's it going? <laughs> How are we hey. doing? Very nice good. To finally meet you, man. Yes. What's going on? Oh, not too much. How about you? Uh, you know, just staying busy. You know, yeah. staying out of trouble. What's going on? Yeah. Hey, I got to show you. Something. Yes. <laughs> so you guys here all three days? Yes, we are. Yeah. Good. Yes. Yeah, I'm subscribed to you as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
just had these made for me. Oh, nice. Referral cards. Nice, very yeah. nice. Want to put them in the bag? This is my son, Diego. Nice to meet you, Diego. Not bad. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So what you guys been doing here today? Nothing, just talking to talking to drivers, talking yeah. to other, you know, other vendors. Oh, nice. There we talking go. Talking to all kinds of people. <laughs> now yeah. we're getting serious. <laughs> we're trying. We're trying. You know, we're getting there. You know, we're doing shows. We're trying. We're doing, we're doing open house events. We're trying to. We're going to. We're going to be going to schools very soon. Yeah. Charity events. We want to start working with the military and whatnot because nice. myself, as you know, and, and he's a veteran as well. Yeah. So. Um, with some really cool information that's going to be coming out very soon. Nice, yeah. Um, yeah I watch. Veterans related, let's put it that way. Yes, yeah. And, I watched uh, watch your uh, little preview there the other day where you was riding that military style truck. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I did it. I, I, was, I did a video shoot with a company called Abco. Yes, you, you know, saying, and yeah. uh, they're in the process of editing that video. And okay, it's going to be. Is that going to be on YouTube or? Yeah, it's going to be on Abco's YouTube channel. Oh, I see. And okay. The owner of the company is um, starting a. YouTube show called Breaker One Nine, okay. where he meets up with drivers from different yes. companies and gets their perspective on the industry, and it's pretty cool. Okay. It's pretty okay. cool. Nice. Yeah, hey, let's get a picture, man. Yeah, Please, that yeah. would be nice. All right, guys, now we're getting into the serious truck shows, to the serious business, right, Diego? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. This is where all the serious stuff happens. All the real trucks. Let's have a look at this Peterbilt over here. Wow, that's nice. I should take a picture of that. Well, guys, are you ready for seeing some nice Corvette? Huh? Look at that. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Yes, that's very, very nice. Yeah. Wow, that must be one of the brand new ones that they got out there, eh? Wow, look at them wide tires that they got. Wow, that's sweet. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> right, Dio? What? Very nice car. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Look very, at that lights. Very nice trucks, too. Yeah, very nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go step into a fantastic sleeper, I believe. Yeah, look at all the room that we got in here. Wow, that is an amazing, amazing home, man. Look at that. They even got a sink and everything in here. Wow. Now, can you imagine driving a truck like this? owning a truck like this they even got a shower in here let's look at it wow look at that it's got a shower and toilet and everything in there <laughs> wow that is an awesome truck oh yeah that's a western star it's a newer western star see they took out the seat on this side so you can wow let's go out of here anyways look at the sleeper from the outside Yikes, that's a massive sleeper, don't you think? Guys, let's have a look at this truck from the front. This is one of the new, newest style Western Star that they make. Look at that. That looks amazing, don't it? Look yeah. at them lights. Wow, that's beautiful, gorgeous, hey? Look at some of these old trucks that they got here. Like That's a Chevrolet. Chevrolet. They don't like to call them Chevy. They like to call them Chevrolet. This is an international. Wow. I don't even think international makes uh, cars. Well, I guess this is considered a truck. Yeah. yeah, this is considered a truck. Wow, look at that. This even got a, a hinge on there. Yeah? Wow. Just a lot of good things we can see up here, man. It's just amazing, isn't it? What do you say? Absolutely beautiful. Eh? Yeah, like, yeah, look at that tractor trailer that they got all the way lifted up over there so they can look from underneath. Guys, let's look at one of the oldest Ford trucks around, I think. I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of the oldest one around. Let's look at the uh, actual date. Let's see what the date is actually saying on here. 1940. That's a 90 horsepower flathead Ford. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? Wow. What do you think there, son? That's that's really old. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if that's you can really drive a race with your trailer. <laughs> uh -huh. What is this? Uh, what is this? GMC. GMC Diesel 860. Wow, this is in very, very good condition. 13 speed. 13 speed? 
Really? It's got a 13 speed? Oh, they must have overhauled it. They must have overhauled it because I don't think they came in a 13 speed back in the day. It says owned by... Okay. Joy. Alright. Wow. Can you imagine sleeping in a sleeper like this? Look at the sleeper. Look at the size of the sleeper. This is how they used to be sleeping in these trucks. It's like bed. That's yeah. it. You can basically get in and that's it. Wow. That's amazing, eh? Yeah. <laughs> wow that's a very nice looking truck that's for sure no JP we got the perfect truck for you my friend let's look at it uh, 129 1929 international SF-46 that's what it looks like and it looks like they have driven it in here wow that is just amazing yeah Look at that, it's actually got a wooden seat on it. Look at the shifter. I'm pretty sure JP will remember this type of truck. I'm sure, he, I wouldn't be even be surprised if he's driven one like this. Look at that, it's actually got a box. Everything. It's never been restored, it doesn't look like it. Well, look at that, the cab is pretty much strapped onto it. Yeah, you probably know exactly what this is. Now guys, this looks like one of the old classic trucks that they have. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful. Yes, that's a gorgeous truck. Wow, yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Somebody else is also filming, but... Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous, man. Yep, definitely. Definitely is gorgeous, eh? What do you think? What do you guys think? Is that an absolutely gorgeous truck? Look at that, that's a Peterbilt. Yep. Let's look at another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful black Peterbilt. I know black looks absolutely gorgeous on a Peterbilt like this, but uh, it is also easy to get it dirty as well, you know? I don't know if they'll allow us to go in there, but uh, wouldn't mind going in there. Look at the LED lights down there, that looks beautiful, eh? Wow, look at that, they got hardwood flooring in there and everything, right? Eh? That must be absolutely expensive to put that in. Yeah. We want to see if we can get in here a little bit and show you a little bit. Look at that, guys. Look at that tiny cab, man. <laughs> well, it looks absolutely gorgeous up there. They got stainless steel even up there on the top. You see that, Dio? Whoa. Look at that, they got stainless steel up there and they got the lights in there. They got this hardwood floor or whatever you want to call it. Is it plastic or is that real? Uh, that doesn't feel real. No, that's laminated. Uh, but it still looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We are getting ready to show you a fantastic Peterbilt. Let's take a look at this peak. Wow, we don't even have lights in there. Look at that. Those are not real lights. Doesn't look like it anyways. Oh yeah, they are. Actually, they are LED lights. Yeah. Doesn't look like a real light, but it's actually LED light. Wow, that's a beautiful truck, don't you think? Yeah. Looks like it's, it must be a running truck too. Uh -huh. That runs down the road. Because it's got a DOT number and everything on it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at them fenders, eh? Wow, that's just absolutely gorgeous. Why would you have it down here? <laughs> like the hookup, that's what I'm talking about. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's I way down that. here. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's for hooking up the trailer. Look at this Peterbilt over here. Man, these are gorgeous, gorgeous trucks. Just absolutely breathtaking, eh? Look at this beautiful color, man. That is beautiful. That's, that's quite glossy. That nice. Yes, it is very glossy, but it looks magnificent. Wow, I would love to own a Peterbilt like this. Look at that, he even covered all the wheel, all the lug nuts over there. Yeah, look at that. Wow, that is beautiful. Look at that. But he doesn't keep the air in it. You see, it's empty. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why it's so low. Yeah, that's probably why. Look at that, that's where the green Peter bill is. But anyway, so many good things to see up here. I don't know how much we're going to be able to fit in one show. All right, guys, we are going into a Canworth. Oh wow, that's an automatic. Look at that, they took the seat out. That's what in a Kenworth looks from the inside. I think, eh? I 
looks like all the trucks have this sort of design with the shower. Yeah, yeah. yeah with the bathroom and with the wow. toilet. And yeah. The shower and the same thing, and then they have this sort of door. Yeah, yeah. Because so, all the trucks wow. so far have had this door. That's beautiful. Yeah. I see you got a GoPro as well. Yep. Check us out, man. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. This is this is yeah. that's the fridge and. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, no, no, that's a that's a oh wow! Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh man, that is a big fridge. For, wow! For we could have had all our beef ribs in there and still have more stuff in there. Oh yeah. Yikes! That is beautiful. Wow! I would love that. Yeah. Look at this. Got yeah. a table there. Wow! This is a beautiful, beautiful truck. Sure. Wow. Yep. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. Look at that microwave in there, and they got a stove, everything in here. I, I'm just wondering how they would get, ha have beds in here. Oh, okay. they flip this thing down, and then this is the mattress. You no, see you that? Can't, I don't think. You yes, can you can. That's that's down. a hinge. Okay. That's a hinge. They flap. They flap that down. I don't know yeah, exactly where here. they. There's a wall here, so then you'll have to. Yeah, but like they. So I think I think you'll have to put it on there. Yeah. And then put it down. Okay. But I think they can lift this up though. Yeah. If they need the space here just to sit or whatever. Yeah. They can probably just lift it up. You yeah. see anything underneath there? Yeah, the two things here. I think you would have to unscrew them and then oh, yeah. lift it up. Or oh yeah. Or no, those are probably quick. Uh, they probably can set it up as a quick release. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very nice studio. Yeah. You can see the <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get out of here so these people can see. All right, guys and gals, we're going to show you a Volvo, and it looks nothing like mine, especially if you look at the front. It looks definitely different. Definitely. Look at these lights. Look at these lights. They are definitely different. Look at this hood. This is completely different. It don't even have a Volvo logo on the front. Look at that. It's got a bar LED light right in the bottom there, too. Yeah. Wow, that's absolutely dark in there. Yeah, that's a beautiful color though. Yeah, now this is a smaller cab than what I have, but uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. They painted the fuel tanks and everything. Everything is painted. Yeah, very nice though. Very nice design. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for today, aren't we? Yeah yeah we are tired now we have had a long day of running around and doing all kinds of cool stuff didn't we yeah we uh just uh you know been finished for a while here uh watching the concert there but uh went back to the truck and uh, put all the files into my computer and uh this camera sucks for in the dark, I have realized that, that's for sure. I don't do a very good job at recording it, but uh, oh well, I tried anyways. The sound is awesome with this mic, but uh, the video quality is not that great. Uh, I don't really like it. <laughs> I was recording some with my phone and that was a lot better quality and uh, you probably watched it already because I put that up already and uh, that was a lot better quality than than this gopro 4 at night but uh hey what can you do that's all but we did have a lot of fun we did really uh, enjoy the truck show and the music party here and all that and now it's actually raining yeah and this guy over here he wants to do some saying things some some things too so let's hear him out We're and see what he says four people shout outs today I'm gonna give Taylor Z a shout out, as well as Rick, and our my mom and my sister Jessica. We're gonna give you guys a shout out too, because I know you're gonna be watching for sure. And so yeah, those are the four people that get shout outs today. And if you want a shout out, just leave it in the comment below. So yeah. So there you have it, guys and gals. I know the wife. Uh is very much missing this part uh, i know she really wanted to come as well hopefully hopefully next year she can come and i would love to be here again next year it's just an awesome awesome time out here and 
beautiful temperatures out here you know especially this time of the year it's uh, you know it's still freezing uh, in Manitoba and up here we're walking around all day long with no jackets on you know, know. just absolutely beautiful so uh, with that being said guys and gals we're gonna close the show so we're gonna say good night to you guys all and we might put a few uh, music clips in here after the show anyways just to give you guys a little bit of music in there and that was an actual live show and uh, we really had a blast I talked to the uh, lady that uh, made the music there what was her name again? Uh, Savannah Rose Savannah Rose, yes that's the actual group though that's the uh that's the group that the or the singers that they they call themselves yeah and uh that was a blast watching a it s-a-v-a-n-n-a-h i believe yep yep anyways uh talk to the producer and or or at least to the manager of the group and they're saying they're going to get me in contact with their uh legal department uh, so that way i don't get no copyright strikes on here or so we can straighten that out if i do get any so then uh, we can fix that and that's all we got for today stick around for tomorrow we're gonna have some awesome more videos coming up to you for you guys tomorrow so don't miss it guys and gals so have a good one we'll catch you on the next one trucker rudy signing out <laughs>